Hey guys, so I wanted to jump on here and make this video about what's going on with Little Nas. I know many of you have been asking me to speak on it and I haven't said anything about it. And the reason why I haven't said anything about it is I'm not shocked by it. First John 5, 19 says, we know that we are children of God and the whole world is under the control of the evil one. So this whole blaspheming Jesus, what he's been doing, antagonizing Christians is not a surprise to me. He's under the power of the enemy and the Bible says that the whole world is under control of the enemy. So I'm not surprised. What I am surprised about is how many believers are defending little Nas. How many believers are saying, Isaiah, we just need to keep praying he's a son and a son of God and he's a son of God and a child of God. I've seen this a hundred times on social media. Friend, I want to tell you, he's not a child of God. Should we pray for our enemies? Yes, Jesus said, pray for your enemies. The Bible says, bless those that curse you, but you need to understand that he's not a child of God. John 1.10 says, he was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, and his own did not receive him. Yet all that did receive him, to those that believed in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent or human decision or husband's will, but born of God. Being a child of God is not a privilege, it's a right that God gives to those who he calls his children that believe in his name. So we can't keep saying little Nas is a son of God, a child of God. Don't speak against him. Don't rebuke him. Don't say anything openly because he's openly antagonizing Christians and antagonizing the church. If you go on looking at 1 John 3, 7, it says, Dear children, don't let anyone deceive you about this. When people do what is right, it shows that they are righteous, even as Christ was. But when people keep on sinning, it shows that they belong to the devil who's been sinning since the beginning. But the son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. Those that have been born into God's family do not make a practice of sinning because God's life is in them. So they can't keep on sinning because they're children of God. So we can tell, listen to this, what John says in 1 John 3, 7 and 1 John 3, 10. He says, we can tell who are children of God and who are children of the devil. Anyone who does not live righteously and does not love other believers does not belong to God. So no, little Nos is not a son of God, is not a child of God. He's lost and he needs to come to Christ. He's openly mocking Christians and we need to speak against this now. I read this article today I want to show you, and I usually don't do this, but I want to show you this article. It says, Little Nas X claims Montero, which is the number one song, the song that you guys saw the video of him blaspheming God, going down into hell on a stripper pole, will be taken off streaming services tomorrow. Columbia Records has tweeted that the removal of Little Nas, Call Me By Your Name, is out of their control. Read the statement down below. So this is what Columbia Records, who is his record label, says in their statement. Thanks. For all your comments regarding Little Nas's Montero, Call Me By Your Name. It's unfortunately out of our control, but we are doing everything possible to keep this song up on streaming services. We will be keeping you up to date as we hear more things for understanding. It is currently the number two song in the country being removed by streaming services this week. Or is it? They're asking. Which is about same-sex relationship. Could it be taken down by the internet tomorrow? The pop star has been surrounded by all sorts of controversy related to the song, but most of the backlash has to do with his music video where he rides a pole from heaven down to hell before giving the devil a lap dance. Additionally, the rapper also released 666 pairs of his sneaker collaboration with Mischief, which used real human blood in the design. And you guys saw the uproar in the Christian community when he made this 666 shirt. And he goes on and Nike basically told him that they'll drop the lawsuit if he tells everyone to send the shoes back, which obviously no one's gonna do. And then it says, not even joking, everybody stream, stream, call me by your name. This is what he tweeted out, your name today, because it'll no longer be available tomorrow. And this is an official tweet by him. There's nothing I can do about it. Thanks for all the support though. Now, many of you might say, well, Christians being in an uproar, has it done anything? Well, it's possible that the song will be getting removed because of all the believers, all the people and people giving him backlash. And then he said this, and this is the most startling thing I want you guys to see. Since call me by your name is no longer working on many streaming services, I'll be uploading the audio to Pornhub at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is what, noon Eastern Standard Time? So that was 50 minutes ago. This is a guy that so many young people are following. Now he's sending them to the largest pornographic website to go listen to a song. He's sending all these young people to go to a porn website to stream his song. So don't sit here and tell me, Isaiah, don't rebuke him. Don't get on here making a video. Guys, we need to stop being so soft. We have so many pastors and leaders that are so soft, that have no backbone, that are afraid to confront darkness. The bottom line is Little Nas is being used by the enemy. He's a puppet for darkness. I had John Ramirez, who's an ex-warlock of 25 years on my podcast last night, and he was telling me that a lot of these celebrities end up randomly dying in their sleep, dying of sickness, getting shot randomly because the enemy's done using them and he turns them over and ends up killing them. Guys, this is no game. 
Little Nos is another puppet to the enemy. These are demonic spirits using him. And if Little Nos needs deliverance, and it's likely he'll watch this video because he actually tweeted out one of Marcus Rogers' videos. I'm telling you right now, I will fly down to wherever Little Nos is and I will do a deliverance on him because I'm telling you, I know at the end of the night when he lays his head on his pillow, he is a pawn in the enemy's game. And Little Nos, listen to me, the devil is using you. And there's gonna come a time where he no longer needs you. This is not a game, this is not a joke. These demonic spirits that are speaking to you and using you, you need to get freedom, you need to get deliverance, it's a real thing. And we need pastors and leaders and Christians that are willing to stand up and speak against this because here's the bottom line. The devil is no longer hiding, guys. The devil is out in the open. We need to stand up as believers. I've been for the last eight months speaking about deliverance, speaking about freedom. And there's a lot of people that we've seen come out of new age, come out of Satanism, come out of darkness. I've done deliverance on several celebrities. We're continuing to minister to celebrities because they want to come out of this. They want to get deliverance. They want to get free. Just like I'm sure little Nos wants freedom. Now he is, some people said he was hurt when he was a kid in the church and all that. And that's all, uh, that's all fine. I believe God wants to save him and deliver him. But here's the reality. He's at the point, if you go on his TikTok where he's openly antagonizing the church, Saturday Night Live did a skit where someone was giving Jesus a lap dance. And you don't see them doing that with Muhammad. You don't see them doing with that Buddha. You don't see them doing that with any other religion but Christians. And the reason being is the devil can care less about Muhammad or Buddha. Jesus is the only name that is above every name, the only name that has power. And so the devil is going to continue to antagonize the church, continue to come against the church. And we need believers to rise up that are serious about God, that are not playing games. So yes, I'm willing to do deliverance. Little Nas, if you need deliverance, hit me up. I'll come cast every demon out of you. If you don't think the power of God is real, I will come and show you that the power of God is real because I'm telling you right now that everything you're serving, everything you're doing, that there's coming a day where you're going to have to pay a price for working for the enemy. The wages of sin is death, the Bible says. The devil's not playing games. I just wanted to shed some light on this today, guys. I hope the song goes down. Now, some of you might say it's a, it's a, a, a ploy that he's playing or it's a publicity stunt. I get it. There's a good chance it is a publicity stunt and he's just sending all these people over to Pornhub and whatever you want to say. But I do believe that there's something happening as us Christians uprise and as we speak forth and as we stop supporting all these demonic labels, all these demonic companies, and we start letting our voice be heard because there's millions of believers in America. And if we all would just raise our voice and let our voice be heard and stop supporting these demonic artists, these demonic shoes and all this stuff that's going on, I think that there will be some change. So if it is a publicity stunt, it is what it is. I hope this song gets taken down. We need to pray that it does because it's leading our generation astray. It's mocking the things of God. It's blaspheming the things of God and it's sending young people to places they shouldn't go and opening up demonic portals and then they end up coming to me and I have to cast the demons out of them. So we need to get serious guys about the things of God. We need to raise up a standard. We need to get bold. We need to declare the truth. We need to stop saying these celebrities are children of God. They are not children of God. They are children of, the, of Satan. They are pawns and they are puppets and they need deliverance and they need freedom and we're here with love of course with open arms but I'm not going to sit around saying oh they're children of God don't say anything about them don't post anything about them because we need to be violent against the enemy's kingdom violent against these spirits that are controlling these celebrities we need to pray for them we need to bless those that curse us I just wanted to jump on here and say this I hope this brings some clarity God bless